Hello, how are you doing? Um, did you know that there's no country that exists that is called Nigeria? I know you know over Nigeria, but then in reality, Nigeria means nigger area. Most of the slaves that I were taken to America, Caribbean, uh, were brought all the way from West Africa, and that is why, because they were selecting the most strong, the most hardworking, and the most fit, the most healthy, almost like the way the current green card is done, but this time in a more civilized way. That is how they did. So that is why Nigeria is called Niger area, and the reason as to why. They have this propaganda that they say about Nigerians, Nigerians are scammers, Nigerians are this and that. It's because Nigerians, wherever they go, they never abandon their culture. So they try to put these limitations on Nigerians not to go because they will go and adopt their cultures wherever they go. If you go to the Caribbean, to Jamaica, those nigger people who are taken there, they still worship the god of their ancestors they still eat the food of their ancestors they still do things like they used to do them in africa so for us to be able to drop the mental chains and the spells that were cast on us you know when we go to school the first thing they start to teach us is spelling and it's no different than casting spells so they gave us negative connotation names and we keep casting negative spells on ourselves but we don't know it so for us to be able to break these spells that were cast on us, we have to start changing those nigger names. We are no niggers, we are no bitches. We are kings and queens. We come from great people. We come from people who fought and won wars to become kings and queens, not by stealing. We, we, were, we are descendants of our great people. So we have to change the names that were given to us by the colonizers and enslavers and we have to go back to our roots. We have to go back and rename the whole of the continent of Africa in the original names of our ancestors because those names had power, those names had, had, had meanings and you know even in the scriptures it's written that the word of mouth is what was used to create the universe let there be and there was so let there be no niggers let there be no bitches we are women and men of dignity not niggers and bitches the uh, original name for africa is arike bland but they changed it and gave it a name of a person and they say that person that person discovered us